Hey everybody, um, we've been talking about the condensed change soft check thing going on um, when it comes to log e equations. But for this one, it's not going to be the exact same. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, you can do this one of two ways. You can do this problem one of two ways. You can go ahead and start condensing it down like we talked about and then go from there and work out the problems and get some good answers and all that good stuff. Um, or we can just do it the way we're getting ready to do it. So. Um, you can either use talking about doing like condensing it down and then getting the um, using one of the rules that we have and then changing it over and all good stuff. Um, but what I'm going to do here to make this as simple as possible, I'm going to go ahead and start off with dividing both sides by three so we can get that natural log by itself. Get ln by itself. So those two cancel out. So we get natural log 2x. And then we say, okay, 12 divided by 3, and we know that is just 4. Okay, so that will be our first thing. Isolate. Get that um, natural log by itself. Condensed it down. We get it by itself. All right, so the next thing here is now go ahead and try to get rid of this natural log. And with this, this is one of those rules that we talked about, I think, very briefly, but it's very important to understand this because we talked about it, and we said when the things are the same basis and blah, 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 then we can go and get rid of it. So hopefully you remember back, because this is just a side note right here, just a side note. So let me write SN side note. So with this, you can write it somewhere, like somewhere in there. So here, if you remember, we talked about if the big number here, our big base number, and our um, small base number here are the same number, let's say this five here, and again, log and 5 are on the same line. 10 is the base number, so it's below. We said if these two numbers are the same thing, this number and this number, they're the same, your answer is just this back number back here. Now, we also talked about when it comes to natural log, that is log base E. Like base E, not just E. Log base E. So that's another small thing we brought in. But we also talked about another thing, and I'm going to throw this on the other side over here, just a snot, side note. So with this one, you can put the side notes on the side like I'm doing here, or you can go ahead and put them on somewhere else, completely different. But we also talked about natural log and E, it says to the X power. We said that here the natural log and the E cancel each other out, so we're left with just an X as an answer there. But also, we looked at this here, too. And we talked about this way. And we said, again, natural log and E cancel each other out and left with just X. So here, that was your answer for this first one. This is the answer for the second one here. Now, with that, we're pulling all of that back into play here because that's all important for what we're going to do. So here, what we're going to deal with, because we need to get the natural log to cancel out. What we're going to do is we're going to take E and make it our base number. And we're going to raise both these parts here as our exponents. So natural log 2x is our exponent here now. And whatever we do to one side of the equation, we do this to the other side of the equation. So here we, wrote, we did base E for both of them. And as long, remember, as long as we can do one thing, or do the same thing on both sides of the equation, as long as we can do one thing on one side and do the exact same thing on the other side, it doesn't really change the equation. So as long as we add a base E for the left side, we can do a base E for the right side. Okay, so that's not bad, not bad, we can do that. All right, so the thing that now we can do is use what we talked about right here. We know the natural log and E, they're gonna cancel each other out. So here, let's go ahead and cancel those out right there. The natural log and E are gone, so that meant that the answer was just our variable or whatever was back here behind the natural log. So here, 2x is our answer. And that's just going to equal e to the fourth power. Okay. And then the last thing again is just solving for x. So we're going to just divide by 2 to get x by itself. So that's gone, that's gone, bam, bam. And we get e to the fourth over 2. And all we're going to do is put e to the fourth over 2 into the calculator and get a decimal answer. And again, we're going to do it exactly 
as it looks like on that on that screen there. We're gonna do exactly that exact, that same thing in our calculator. So again, we're gonna do alpha y equals the green button and y equals. Here we're gonna do second and natural log, the blue button and natural log, the blue second button and natural log. We get e to, and we have a box up there. We're gonna put the number four in there, and then put two in the bottom, and hit enter. And again, we're rounding three decimal places. Three, not two, not one, not rounding it weirdly because you just wanna round it weirdly. We're rounding three decimal places. So when we do this, this is about 27.299. Is rounding again three decimal places. 27.299. And that's that bad. That works right there. Bam. And that's it. So again, we're trying to get rid of natural log, so we have to get natural log by itself. And then we use the base E to get rid of the natural log itself. And then we just solve for X. And so it should always be simple for these. So it shouldn't be anything difficult about this. All right, so hopefully you understand that. If Again, if you don't understand something, call me over, and I'll help you out and explain it. All right, and then next up again is your practice. Here we go.